Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to show you comparison between DVY and VYM. I'm going to focus on holdings, expense ratio, also what kind of stocks they have. Then I will show you the dividend yield history, uh, the performance every single year. Also how much money you would make every single year in every single ETF space if you would be investing $200 monthly. Then I'm going to show you um, like how much they are overlapping, so everything. Now, if you can have any questions or if you know any other ETFs that you want me to compare, share it down below in the comments and I'll be really happy to make a video on it. And if you want to learn how you can make money with ETFs, I created a course. You will find the link down below in the description. So without further ado, let's start. VYM DVY, Isher Vanguard and Isher BlackRock. Now, when we look here, expense ratio for VYM is 0.06, comparing to DVY is much higher, 0.39. You can even see that the assets under management is higher with VYM and then also average daily volume is higher comparing to DVY. So in all these three regards, VYM is winning, but we will look on the performance of everything, of course. Uh, now, expense ratio, what does it mean? Is that let's say that you would pay, you would uh, invest $10,000, you would have $39 here and here you would have $6 that you would have to like pay as a management fee. Now, uh, when we go even further, we see number of holdings. Uh, underlying index is high dividend yield index for VYM. Down Dow Jones US Select Dividend Index for DVY. 100 holdings. Now, when we look on performance here, we see that, that okay, one year, but DVY was better performing. Three years was VYM. And it's, it really depends like from what Kind of part you're going to look at it and we are going to let's say we, we would start investing 10 years back and i would show you completely the performance you will enjoy that now the stocks you can clearly see that okay they're both got a lot of financial stocks here utilities 27 percent here here it's only in vym seven percent then consumer non-cyclicals non-cyclicals here it's 10 here it's 14 and many other segments, I'm not going to read every single one of them. When we look on our companies here, we can see that, okay, Altra Group, one okay, Altra Group, ExxonMobil Corporation, PPL Corporation, Pfizer, and here on VYM, JP Morgan Chase, Johnson Johnson. But these kind of stocks like, like all right, but let's look on the overlap. When we look on the overlap right here, VYM and DVY, we can see that 24% of VYM 413 holdings you would find in a DVY and all those 100 holdings you would find also in VYM. This is really important. But but wait, they are overlapping only by 29%. So yes, you would find in DVY 100 holdings in VYM, but they are overlapping only by 29%. That's really important information. And let's see now how well it's going to perform if we are going to uh see the investment so let's say we are going to start from the start we are going to initial amount ten thousand dollars or let's say 2010 okay we would start be investing 2010 ten thousand dollars contribute fixed amount two hundred dollars monthly inflation adjusted yes contribute in frequency monthly now uh we are going to reinvest the dividends and we are going to show you the display the income from the dividends and let's see analyze portfolios okay how well it's performing we can clearly see that vym was overperforming dvy by three thousand dollars if we are going to start investing from 2010 now you can clearly see uh, the growth here we can see also the performance of every single year that sometimes the vym uh, sorry the dvy was overperforming vym like 2021 and this is also the look at this the dividends and this is really interesting because when i'm going to we will get to it is but look at this we can go vym and dvy when we look on the performance here it's kind of similar right opa so 3.18 2020 to 3.66 we can clearly see that yes you would make more money uh, in DVY, VYM uh, this year. 
2021 it depends when you're watching this video now when we look on the 2019 also like every single year it was overperforming but small margin it wasn't that high overperformance but again maybe you could say that okay this overperformance was hmm it's interesting and to summarize this whole video so what, what we can say okay the the expense ratio is higher yes with the vym or when we look on the past you would make more money let's say 2096 okay, 2006 2008 was drop on both hardcore And every time the dividend portfolio, uh, the dividend yield was higher in a DVY, but we could see that final balance was better on VYM. So I don't know what to really think about it. Share it down below in the comments your what thoughts are. It depends what companies you actually like in those ETFs. Uh, these are the numbers do what you want with those numbers i'm not going to say that which path you should go and what kind of i think you should decide and yeah thank you very much guys for watching now if you can have any questions ask me down in comments um, definitely check the course down below in the description and have a great day and goodbye see ya